So if you like to use effects in Caden Live like I have here, and you don't want to constantly recreate this effect every time you go over to a different clip, well, there is an easy way for you to actually use the same effects from one clip to another, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative, and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. Okay, so on today's Caden Live tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily take effects from one clip and then put it in another. And this is something that I did not even know existed when I first started using Caden Live, even though it's really simple. And so let me show you what I mean. So this clip right here, I don't have any effects. So if you want to know where your effects are, this is your project bin. You could go here to your effects tab and then here's all the effects that are available to you. And if you are using an effect for a particular clip, it will show up here under effects whenever you choose a clip. And so what I've done here is on this intro clip, I don't have any effect, but once I get to this one, there is effect. There is a zoom effect. So if I click on this second clip, you'll notice that there is a transform effect, which is key frameable. And then whenever I move over to this other clip, I have another effect. And this one is a colorize effect. So if you come here and you could just either type it in to search for it, or you could just open up each one of these and expand it. So this is the colorize effect. And then in terms of the transform effect, it's right down here. So I have the transform effect. There's a lot of effects available. So as you can see here between these two clips, there are different effects. And at the same time, I have another clip here where I'm using more keyframes to add some motion. As you can see here, it zooms in. So if you're wondering, how do you actually take these effects from one clip to another? Well, it is super simple because all you have to do is choose the clip that you want the effect to be on. And then you simply right click on your mouse and then copy. And then all you have to do is go to another clip that you want the same effect. So in this case, I want this whole zoom effect. And so all I have to do is just paste it right here, paste effects. And now this has the exact same effects as I had in the original clip that I copied this from. So it has all the same values. And this makes it super simple, especially if you want to apply the same effects to multiple clips. Like a lot of people would like to use this whole zoom in feature when they're going in from one clip to another. Like say, for example, this is zoomed out, regular view, and then it goes zoom in. So a lot of people would like to do that uh, in their YouTube videos. And so this is a super easy way to do it. And as I've shown you here, you can apply a variety of different effects. And at the same time, if you happen to copy an effect, you can adjust it just like you would any other effects. So say, for example, I had this one here and I'm going to go ahead and remove the effect on this one because that's the same thing. Go ahead, delete this effect. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. So we'll go ahead and copy this. Then we'll go to the second clip and we'll paste the effects. And here uh, you could adjust whatever values you want. So now I practically have the same effect. And then when I go over to the next clip, it's just a slight variation. So you can have a lot of fun with this, you know, and at the same time, it saves you so much time, especially if you're doing something a little more, more complex. So in this case, we're using keyframes to add motion. So in this case, I started off zoomed out at the beginning right here, and then it's zooming in. You can see this right here, and then it zooms back out. And you could also, you know, zoom out to see how this looks like. So we're watching this, it zooms in, or actually zooms out, then it zooms back in. And I've done the same thing here with this clip. I just copy and pasted the same exact effect with all the same values that I had in the original clip. For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And now I want to show you the most powerful feature available with effects beyond just the copy and paste. And that is the ability to actually save these effects as a custom effect template pretty much. And so all you have to do is choose the effect that you want. So in this case, I like this zoom in effect. I can use this in many different projects. And all I have to do is go up here to this three line symbol. And then when I click it, you're going to see these options to save effect, save effect stack and create region. And all I'm going to do is 
save effect and now you can name it whatever you want so I'm just gonna call it zoom effect you could put in some comments if you want so now if I go up here to my effects tab and I go here to this star right here the show all custom effects so now under custom you see your new effect that you just created and let's just say I wanted to add it to this clip I would just add it like any other effect just double click on it and now I have the exact same zoom effect that I had on these other clips so that's a really powerful way for you to use effects that you enjoy throughout multiple projects and at the same time if you just wanted to copy and paste some effects that you had for that particular project you can use the copy and paste feature and so that is it on this video on how to quickly not only copy and paste effects but also save it as templates and so if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my Caden Live tutorials and tips I do have an entire playlist I'll leave that in the description as well and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel then join my Go Content Creators Group where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there and the best part is all of this is free simply head over to the link below check on the page and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share, like, and subscribe.